cornbread stuffed meatloaf. And I'm working on two things right now. One pan's gonna be working for the stuffing, the other pan's gonna be working for the meatloaf. On the bacon, center cut bacon, whatever you like, this is about a pound. I'm gonna take about half of it, give it a nice little dice, and don't go too fast on this. I've got the pan down on low, because I don't wanna burn the bacon, I just wanna let it slowly render down, because I'm gonna use some of the fat from this bacon when I actually go ahead and cook some of the other ingredients for the stuffing. Okay. Next piece, corn muffins. Well, you know, you probably have a big thing of corn muffins that you've made, and you got a couple that are sitting on the counter and haven't been used yet. The muffin is actually gonna work like our, kind of like the stuffing in a Thanksgiving turkey. So, the oven's been preheated to about 275, 250, and we'll let these dry out in here for a bit. Now, after I pop this in the oven, we're gonna start on some of the key ingredients, and one of those is going to be this red onion, and some of these jalapenos. Now half of the jalapenos are gonna go into my meatloaf and the other half are gonna work into this cornbread stuffing. Oh, you can smell that bacon just working over here. The bacon in the cornbread could be a meal in itself, but we're gonna put it inside of a meatloaf. That's the crazy part of it. Now that's in and I'm just finishing up these Beautiful bell peppers here, and I've got some garlic done and a little bit of jalapeno. Now what I've used is I've taken this bacon and cooked it down, and I've got some of the rendered fat from that, and that's gonna help me actually cook the red bells, some of this diced jalapeno, and I need to take about a third of this garlic and add this to the dish as well. There we go. And we'll let that all work together. Now on this side here, I'm gonna take about another third of this garlic that I worked, and we're gonna get that in there. We're not gonna do the standard same old meatloaf with just ground beef. Ours is actually gonna have a real nice incorporation of some ground pork into this bowl. Here's what we're gonna work with first. First, we get in the ground beef. This is an 80-20, meaning 20% fat, and a lot of times you'll see people that are going 90-10. On something like this with the meatloaf, we do wanna have that fat in there. We've got two pounds of the ground beef, one pound of the pork. Now, we go in with a little bit of dry mustard. Some ketchup, about a quarter cup of that. Worcestershire sauce, kosher salt, a little fresh cracked black pepper, those fresh herbs that I did. And here's where the eggs come in. I'm gonna crack two eggs. One I'm gonna save for the stuffing. And I mix these up, that in. And remember we were letting the veg, the peppers and the onions and the garlic take a little time to mellow out over here. We don't wanna put them in too hot because if they go in too hot, they can actually start to cook some of that egg and some of the meat before we even get started. Now, you won't see it often, but you're gonna see it now. When we go to meatloaf, we have to de-bling, okay? Because we're gonna be getting our hands all the way down into this and we don't need it there later. Here we go. You can smell those peppers and onions right off the bat. There we go, nice and light. Just wanna make sure that we incorporate all these ingredients together. It's just how it should look. Okay, get a view on that one. Mmm. Now this cornbread's been in here at about 200, 275 degrees, and it's gonna be the basis and the foundation that's gonna soak up all this great flavor and moisture out of the meatloaf. Great, those are done. Now, working to my side, I've got the bacon, I've got the peppers, the garlic, that's gonna all come together. And I've got one more egg here that I'm gonna add into this mixture. That spoon, oh. And the crunchiness, you can hear the corn muffins kinda of starting to absorb some of the moisture and you could smell it all tying together. I mean, just a spoonful right now would probably do me good. All right, and that's mixed nice. Look at that, okay. Now I put them all together. How do I put them together? Well, I've got a sheet tray here lined with a little parchment paper because we're gonna have enough moisture, this is not gonna stick, but we don't want it sticking to the pan. The parchment paper will be a nice barrier. About two thirds of the meatloaf comes out and this is where we're gonna make our foundation. Okay, so we run it long ways like that. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. And we're gonna make a little canoe here because we're gonna actually take some of that stuffing, put it inside of the canoe, take the rest of the meatloaf, put a little roof on it, tie it all together, and then we're gonna go ahead and bake this right around 350 degrees. Ah, oh, look at that. You wouldn't even know that it's got stuffing cornbread in it. I'm gonna pop this in the oven for about an hour and a half. And 
350 degrees. And we want to check the temperature, make sure we're going in the right direction, and then also top it. So let's see where we're at. Not all the way to the bottom, right into the middle. Yep, right about 140, 145, perfect. Now on top of this, we're gonna hit it with a little sliced cheddar cheese. Now we didn't do this right at the beginning because the cheese would have all melted off. Great. Back into the oven for about another five minutes. There we are. Okay. Oh, it smells incredible. Now and I've got a great plate picked out for it. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It smells even better than it looks. So let's see how this is gonna look. Separate, oh my gosh, I tell ya. And take a look at that, how beautiful.